Hello, this is part three of the Grand Challenge prep. Um, I'm used to saying Global Challenge. So I've been testing a lot off, um, off video, and I've also been talking to someone off video, and I want to try out Golden Go. This while it, it was originally around Hydreigon and Metagross, I'm realizing that Hydreigon and Golden Go pair together better the Metagross and Hydreigon, and Metagross can't really deal with Mouse Ape, which is a big issue, and something that I want either an even or positive matchup into, and I was like, well, Golding, I need more than just Golden Go, and, um, they were like, what about you do Fake Tears, then Tails, Lola, you just Fake Tears, and then you do, uh, Choice Specs, make it ring or whatever, and I'm like, I like that concept, but I need to test it in theory, and I was like, I guess it's perfect time to make the video. So let's play some lighter games. Rick H. Um, and then the rest is just standard stuff. And Cinderella, Riddle Boom, I think those are so really freaking good. Um, let's see. I don't think I've changed anything uh, EV wise on Hydreigon or Gastrodon. So, yeah, we have Life Orb Hydreigon, uh, Terrifier Leftovers Gastrodon. The fake tier sign tails, Golden Go, and Cinnor of Rillaboom. Here I hmm. I really like Incineroar and Rillaboom. And that's such a basic lead, but I also kinda love it a lot. Actually, I like I like Hydreigon. What if I did Hydreigon, Rillaboom? Golden Go. And Hmm, okay. I don't think I bring Gastrodon here. I really like Incineroar here. Let's bring Incineroar. Bro, my my PC is dying. Whenever you whenever you hear the background of a video, this is something I can't fix. Because iPhones are are like the f whenever I record my audio, because of how good cameras are, even if I lower the quality of my phone, the file is so big I can't compress the file. Just send it to my laptop to compress it. Actually, I'm stupid. I could. I just realized I could do something. It's annoying, but I think I can fix the audio, audio in, fu in future videos. So I'm going to experiment with that tomorrow. But. Okay, there's your Rotom. What's that Rotom doing? I think it, it might be a jug pack. I'm going to Tailwind. I'm going to fake it, just in case they actually do something. It's actually perfect. Now, I mean, look. Life for Hydreigon versus Rotom. Draco Mirror to 77 to 80, 91. And I'm just real boom due to it. Okay. I'm going to Draco. And then you turn. So that should double up. As long as it's not citrus. If it's citrus, I'm kind of screwed. In terms of getting that double KO, I think. Actually, no. No, I think Rello can still kill. Because we turned just 49.6 to 59.8. Which is a decent range. Assuming it's max HP for defense. Okay. I think that's fine. Oh. They're not bulky at all. And they forfeit. Why are you not running HP, bro? Run HP. You need HP on your guys, bro. I love super bulky teams. Because with super I like, even with um, hyper offense, I like making my, making my Pokemon bulky. Because I like, like, if you're super fragile, that even like one mistake costs you the game. Like especially if it's like hard trick room. And um I'm I'm a big fan of bulky offense. And I've recently I've been leaning towards Tailwind and it's like the perfect combination. I didn't like Iron Chucky list stuff. Never that was popular. So I don't know why I like Hydreigon. Maybe because this is uh very similar to a set I ran on Regulation A, so it's like it clicks. Well, Iron Chucky list, you can like speed booster, and you weren't really about doing damage. Um, okay. 
This is interesting. I really like the idea of just going these two and then high trigon and do I bring gastro? I think I bring gastro in the back. I think this four do really good into here. Here I'm a fake tears. Let's see. What is that assuming? It's assuming. Oh, it's assuming it's like super. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna just shadow ball. Decent damage. And then here I'm going to Moonblast. And. Where they, they're just gonna... I'm gonna probably use flash cannon or some crap. So I think I go into keeps. And I moonblast Archer Ludon. That's a good moonblast. Here. I'm really tempted to fake tears in earth power. I, th I think I'm gonna do that. I mean, that's exactly what I'm going to do. If they don't know I'm Covert Club, because it's best of one. They, they might make that assumption, though. Or they might think I'm a protect and stuff. Like, there's a lot of mind games. Beat up. This probably won't do much. 24% still really good. And I'm a Terra Fire, Earth Power, and I'm a Blizzard. Even though it's in uh, rain. Because I can. There's no reason not to. Oh, that's great damage. That's great damage. I don't, I don't think I have like any special attack investment, so that's actually like amazing damage. And then here, I'm a, I'm a Thick Tears, and I'm going to Earth Power. I don't think Earth Power normally kills here. Let me check. Yeah, if it's bulky, does not normally kill there. And now I'm gonna assume it's bulky. But with the fake tears, it, Earth Power will kill. Dude. The dude I'm talking to, like, they ask me for advice a lot. But, like, whenever they ask me for advice, it's, they're one of the few people who, like, narrow what they want out of it more. What the hell? This is okay. Leech seed. Whisper's also preparing for the global challenge, bro. Um, but the person I've been talking to, like, whenever they ask me questions or they send me a replay, like it's like usually for a specific reason, or like it's just like, hey, I'm proud of this play, and I think that's something more people gotta do. Like just saying replays you're proud of. And I like being like not you just dis completely destroying the enemy. I mean. Like, yes, in some cases. But, like... I like watching, like, VGC puzzles. I like watching them, because I guess the niche plays work out. Even though, of course, it's like... The uh, the replay itself is usually scripted. Because it's just trying to show off the puzzle. Like, can you solve it? Which I think is really cool. That's really good damage. 16%. I'm really liking this position. Here, I get to do the funny thing. Where I trickle Meteor, I just spam me on this slot. And they can't really do much about it. Which is why I think Gastrodon's also really good in this minigame. Like, I, I usually don't click with Gastrodon. Because Gastrodon's a weird Pokemon to use. But, I really think it clicks with this team. Oh, it's Terrifier. Okay. Not Terrifier. Terra Fairy. Which is fine. <laughs> because I can then do... Hmm. I can then Draco Meteor. 
and then me on this slot. If I can get Archer Ludon to sleep, it's just I think it's just GG's. Oh, I'm so really shocked they have Leech Seed. Rillaboom. Maybe for Don Dozo? That's the only thing I can think of. Like if you're core if like you're like I don't think see any like like Ditto, it's not a Don Dozo answer for the most part. So that may like that might be like their version of a Don Dozo answer. Also here I always protect and go and do earth power. Actually No, I always tailwind in earth power. I think that's a correct play. Cause yeah. I like that play a lot. Now that's asleep. And here I can go into Golden Go and Earth Power. I think that that I think that play is there any way I lose because of that play. They literally doubled me. So, I don't think so. Maybe if they doubled the keeps? But I, I am, I'm not sure. But here we go. And now I steel beam. And earth power. GG's? Let's see. How long have I been recording? 11 minutes? Let's do one more. But like, I'm really liking this version. I think Metagross still has lots of potential, but I've realized after a lot of testing, I realize part of the reason why people don't use Metagross. It's really hard to build around. Goldingo, you can just slap on. Like, I cooked this version of the team up, like, I had Hydreigon and Gastrodon, but after asking my friend, hey, I need mouse ape help, and they're like, why don't you just replace Metagross with Goldingo? And I'm like, thank you. And I was like, and they're like, also fix yours. And I'm like, thank you. And that's that's how I made this team. Also, Nine Tails, Goldingo, Incineroar. Hmm, Rillaboom. These four just like kind of go crazy. How much Steel Beam do? You? Steel Beam. Yeah, it's you hit KO on bulky. Porygon 2. So what if I fake tears and then Terra steal make it rain? I wonder how much damage is all this is gonna do. That oh that's because of flare boots, but like <laughs> that's crazy damage. And then here I go into he, this guy. What? This Moonblast? KO? I don't think. Yeah, Moonblast isn't KO. I Moonblast. Actually, no. I think I go into Rillaboom. Actually, I, I like the idea of doubling in sooner. Ooh, this actually. Really good for me. No flame orb for you. Go into Rillaboom. Parting shot. Hmm, have they used a Terra yet? Let me check. I have, but I don't think they have. Yeah, they have not. So, I'm gonna f I think I Grassy Glide anyway. And then Aurora Veil. And then I just, I think I just Blizzard Spam from here. And then I have to hope I outlook them. I eat that.
Okay, yeah, th I think it's GG's. I think I just, I think I should have steel beamed. Instead of wasting material. Oh, okay. Moon blast. Okay, yeah, GG's. Do I want to do one more? My computer is currently dying, but let's do one more. I think that was, def that was definitely winnable. I think I just, I, I got too excited by alone and then doing stuff. Ooh, lemon switch. Okay, lemon switch, 1542, decent elo. Um, once I find my six, I'm gonna op optimize EVs and then just like start grinding ladder. I might not use to optimize EVs in recordings. I'm honestly not sure yet. I might save the one with optimized EVs for during the global challenge. Or grand challenge or whatever. Here I go into nine tails. And Hydreigon. And then Goldingo and Incineroar in the back. And then here, this might be crazy. If I might just go we ball and fake fake tears and Draco Meteor. It's on, I think that's fine with me. Okay, and they 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 might get greedy and just tear a fire here, so I'm gonna fake out and the tail one. They moon blasted. I think that's GGs. That might also be GGs. Ah, uh, yeah, there. Hmm. I might run tear a fire, cause that's happened to me so many times. Plus, I already have Terra Steel going to go. I might, I might explore Terra Fire by Draco. Because you also have Levitate. Immu like, Amelia Ground because of Levitate. Here, I knock off and then I Terra Steel make it rain. Nah, yeah, that's GG's. See, so, yeah, I have a lot of work to do with this team. And I have to, like, I have to figure out matchups and stuff. Like the basic ideas. Um, we're ending it off on fourteen twenty four. I'm gonna hopefully light it back up, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.